my dream is to fly over that rainbow so high. Hi everybody, my name is Juan Lorenzo and this is a tutorial about animation clothes. First and everything, I must say that I'm from Portugal and my English is not very good. I will try to do my best. Thanks. Okay, right now I want to show you the final result. I want you to see how it's gonna be at the end. So, this is animation that I made before and uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna play, press play and uh, we can see the sphere how our, how our collision object in the plane that's gonna be our clothes. We can see the plane transforming in a uh, in the clothes. Really cool. That's what we're gonna make now. Right, let's put stop. Go back to 3D Max and work. First, we're gonna create a sphere. To create it, we go to the create uh, panel. We choose uh, geometry, standard primitives and then select sphere you can build a sphere using one of the four views I will use the top view to be easier okay you can make it bigger or smaller if you want uh, let's pull it oh, oh let's pull it up a little bit yeah, like this perfect the next step is draw the plane that's gonna be our clothes. For that, we're gonna do create panel, geometry, standard primitives, and then plane. Let's draw a square plane, more or less like this. Okay, it's cool. Uh, now we need to move the the plane to over the sphere. So let's select the plane and move it up. You can see here the the sphere. In the front view, you can see the sphere in the point that is above the sphere uh, before we forget we need to change the point parameters so let's go to the modify panel and here in length and width segments there's 4 to each one let's put 50 because 4 are not too much let's put 50 each one 50 and 50 great uh, now you can see that have more lines that means that we have more geometry to work uh, let's go now um, to the modify panel the modifier list and program our plane to be the clothes so we choose now clothes now we, may, we need to change some properties so let's go to object properties and now you can see that there is only the plane selected we also want the sphere so go to the add objects select sphere you can press add button or just double click and now you can see that sphere and plane are both inactive we don't want that we want plane to be our clothes and sphere to be our collision object you can make you can change the parameters but I will not do that uh, you can also here in presets use like cotton uh, no Generator heavy, polyester, rubber, you know, types of clothes. Of, uh, I, I don't know how you say it, but. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Press OK. Uh, right now, it's all programmed, just press simulate local. Now it's gonna be a little bit slow because my computer is not as fast as I want. And uh, there's a lot of fragments in the. We don't. In the, it's gonna be a little slow. How do you know? Uh, it's, it's now changing to cloth. You can see it. Okay. To pause this animation, we can press simulate local again. Okay. It's paused. You can see it's not moving again. Uh, let's let's render to you see how it's gonna be. Let's press F9 and oh, really cool. Uh, you can see that you know if there was textures, that would be more realistic. Uh, but that's to make a picture. And if you want to make the animation, to make the animation, we need to undo this thing. So you know, what undo means undo means here, undo. 
or press Ctrl Z in a keyboard. Okay, cool. Uh, to main animation, instead of we choose simulate local, we will just press in simulate here, down here. If we press simulate, we'll see a window, a new window that open it. It says clove. And it's creating the, um, the animation has a reactor. Uh, here in the cloth, uh, you can see that um, it's moving the frames. And uh, there is 100 because I, I only have 100 frames. You can have more or less. Right now it's in the frame 75. It's almost over. 90. And finally 100. Okay. Now if you go back to the frame 0, you can see the point is again here. And if you move the frames, you can see the animation happening. Really cool. You can render here. You can render... Right, excuse me. You can render it here. You can render it here. You know, really cool. Finally, and if you want to make a movie, you know, you just go to the um, render scene dialog, open this window, and uh, you select active to segment. Down here, you select uh, render output, you select files to choose a directory, and uh, it says all formats, you choose every file to make. Then you make save. This is in Portuguese, we will not understand, but you put, you put save. Uh, and then you make a uh, render, and uh, it's gonna make your movie. I already have mine, it's here. Uh, so, we are in the last step. It's everything's done. Uh, using this technique, we can make different types of animation. It's really cool. Uh, now it's up to you, and I hope, and I hope, I hope you, you do it. Um, now everything I can say is thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this have um, had helped you. Uh, sorry for my English. I know it sucks. If you have any doubts or questions, uh, call me by my mail. Not gonna appear in the screen now. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. My dream is to fly. Oh, but I rainbow so high.